Det er du i Today, I'm going to be uh, installing my diesel heater. Um, I'm putting it under the driver's seat uh, just because it's dead space. Um, can go straight on underneath, straight to the fuel tank. I'm not going to have it in the actual um, small 10 litre canister that comes with it, just solely because. I don't have anywhere to stick that where when I fill it up it won't spill before the fidget goes straight off the main tank it's one, one job done so um, yeah I'm going to get on with it um, all I do is get the driver's seat off once the driver's seat off um, show you my plan so chairs out um, I had two 30mm nuts on the front runners on there on there on the rear, slide the seat forward, and you'll see these multi splines, and they are uh, M10 multi splines. So, underneath, uh, gives me a perfect chance to clean up one out as well, because it's a bit, a bit minging under here. Um, so. I'm planning on going through there, which means I probably have to relocate that. Um, it's got a ground for the heater there. Um, put a plate on there, diesel heater there. Suck in, blow out. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. Right, so because the floor on the T5 is all undulating, when you put the flat plate down, there's a gap between the bottom of the plate and the bottom of the actual um, round floor, <clears throat> which then means that the exhaust and the intake off the diesel heater, these ones, don't sit far down enough to clear the actual round body. Um, it's one way of doing it, really. But the only way of doing it. Is getting a turret plate. You draw a big hole and that sinks down, and then you get up into it. Um, you could, I suppose, utilize that hole and another hole, or put two holes in there from the going in, which means that I don't know, just there'll be a gap around it, so like. Drafts can come up in it and yeah, creepy crawlies and all sorts really. So yeah, do it that other way. It sort of seals it a bit better using the turret one. So I need to um make my own turret mount. So I've got to get the circle. Ta-da! Um piece of steel. What I'm going to do is clamp that to that, bend it around, weld it, and tack that onto the plate. Just like that. And I've got to just join that, tack that bit there with a bit of weld. Yeah, so what I've done was four drill holes, jigsaw in there, go around, um, and then just keep trying the turret until it fits. You see this red, that's um, primer for the bare metal. Um, what I am going to do as well on the underside, um, and it should be this this bit here, I'm going to put seam sealer on it. So yeah, and uh, clean up this, all this base, man. This is me in. Uh, again, it doesn't look pretty, but plates in the now the turret section um, puts that fire sealant around um, just to fill the gaps I draw the holes to hold the base plate down 
and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, again, so it's all it's not pretty, but it's in there. I've put some sleeving over the wiring, saw it from chafing. Uh, had to make that hole slightly bigger because, as you can see, it's fouling. <laughs> 